Hey guys, last week we were looking at how we can use this time to check up on our foundations, what we are building our life upon, and make sure that we're building on the rock that is firm and secure, Jesus. This week we wanted to take a look at a story that Jesus told to help us understand why. He tells a story about a pearl of great price. Here we see a man who finds a pearl that has great value and goes to sell everything that he has so he can buy it. When we really want something, we will often be willing to give up a lot to get that thing. Sometimes we will crave it, be absolutely desperate for it and do everything that we can just to get it. It may not have been a pearl of great price for us, but I'm sure we can all relate to that feeling of what it is like to really, really want something. I remember being told a story about a boy who really, really wanted a dog. He was desperate for one, but his dad did not want one and refused to get one. He was so determined that he kept on asking and asking. He made posters of cute puppies and put them all over the house, on every cupboard, in the living room, in the bathroom, in the kitchen. He promised to walk the dog every single day, to look after it, to train it and to clean up after it. Finally an amazing thing happened and this puppy that this boy had so so long for arrived as a surprise. He was overjoyed and so so thankful that he now owned this puppy. Why don't you pause and spend a few moments talking about something that you have really longed for. Jesus talks about the kingdom of heaven in a much greater way than this example. He says it is like a merchant who is looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything that he had and bought it. He did this because he saw such a great value and worth in the pearl and he was convinced that that was all he needed to bring him joy and happiness. heaven is so so amazing it is like nothing we have ever wanted or desired ever before Jesus says that it is so worth giving our everything to because it is more precious and more valuable than anything we can ever know or have on this earth it's good for us in this moment of pause to ask Jesus to reveal to us just how amazing it is that we can have faith in him, to ask him to wow us with who he is and all that he's done for us and how he makes our life the best life and that he promises to always be with us to the very end of the age and promises us with the hope of being in heaven with him forever. It is when we reflect on these things that we are reminded just how valuable faith in Jesus is and how it really does surpass all other things. Success, fame, money, comfort, all the things in the world that we could ever want are nothing compared to the amazing treasure of having faith in Jesus. Yet the amazing thing is, is that Jesus tells another story about a lost sheep. This story shows that not only is the kingdom of heaven something to be so longed for and sought after and so worth gaining, but that Jesus himself longs for all to be found by him, for all to be rescued and brought home into his kingdom. So why don't you pause and jump into today's story which is found in Luke 15 verse 1 to 7 or watch one of the video clips which animates the story for you included in the guide and description below. Jesus loves us so much. He created us and made us to be in relationship with him. In him, we find the most loyal friend and through him, the most loving father who is so faithful to us, even when we wander or lose our way. This story and the one that follows about a woman searching for her one lost coin show that Jesus cares about the one, the one lost sheep, the one lost coin. We all are or have been at some point in our lives that one lost sheep. And the amazing truth about Jesus is that he comes and searches for us. And when we turn to him, he brings us from a place of being lost to being found, a place of being brought home into his kingdom in heaven. Both these stories speak of the amazing celebration that happens in heaven when just one person is found. 
The parable of the lost coin describes it like this. In the same way, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God when one sinner changes his heart and life. There is nothing quite like the experience of being found by Jesus. And often it leaves us amazed. You came for me, Lord, for me. I remember as a child being lost for my mum and dad and the great fear and worry that overcame me because I could not find them anywhere. I remember the relief and joy when I spotted my mum in the distance, that great feeling of being found and no longer lost. Why don't you pause and spend a few moments talking with each other and sharing any examples you can think of that relate to that feeling of being found. Once we have known the amazing joy of being found in Jesus and brought home into his kingdom, there is nothing quite like seeing him find and bring home those around us. Jesus is so kind and so gracious that we get to share in that incredible joy experience when even just one life turns to him. At a conference we used to go to, there would be thousands of people there and they would often invite people to come to the front to give their lives to Jesus. And it would never cease to amaze us how whenever that happened, there would be an uproar of celebration, cheers and applause in that room full of thousands of people as that first brave person stood up where they were and started making their way to the front of the room. But this is just a small taste of what it is like in heaven when one person turns to Jesus and chooses to put their life into his hands. I have had the great privilege and joy in my life of seeing that moment when someone dear to me has been found. The great joy that fills your heart when you see that person realise that Jesus really is the great pearl, the greatest treasure to be found on earth, and see them choose to leave their old life behind and embrace the new life that Jesus has for them to be found. These experiences make us realise that our lives really are about being found in Him and then allowing Him to use us to help find others. The Bible is all about God seeking out His lost people to find them and rescue them and bring them home into His eternal kingdom. In Matthew 5 verses 14 to 16, Jesus says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and place it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it brings light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. If we have been found by Jesus and chosen to put our faith and trust in him, we are now the light of the world. So I want to encourage you this week to as a family, let your light shine before others that they may see Jesus, the great pearl, the greatest treasure to be found on earth and may make that decision to put their trust in him. But remember, just like that story of the little girl and the father who were trying to start a fire, it is Jesus who finds those that are lost and brings them into his family. But we get to play a part in that. He wants to use us too. Hey guys, just got a few questions for you again this week. What does being found by Jesus mean for your life? How is Jesus and the kingdom of heaven the greatest treasure that could ever be found?